Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to do another comparisons video. And this time naman, dalawa lang yung product na pag-uusapan natin. So for sure, nakita nyo na sa title o kaya sa thumbnail kung ano yung mga products na i-feature ko dito sa ating half and half the comparisons review video. So these are the foundations that I have here, which is the Squad You Can Face It Foundation. And also itong si Everbilang na All Day Liquid Foundation. So kung gusto nyo malaman guys yung thoughts ko for these two products, so just keep on watching. May magtaka sa inyo guys kung bakit ito yung dalawang gagawan ko ng comparisons video for today. Ako kasi guys, as a consumer na tried and tested ko na to, alam ko na talaga yung mga performance nito sa aking skin. And also, ito sa tingin ko yung best match when it comes sa category ng foundation na meron tayo sa local brands sa Philippines. So, hindi sila masyado nagkakalayo sa price and so on. So, yun guys, yun yung kinonsider ko kung bakit sila yung dalawang ipag ko compare ko to each other. First, let's talk about the packaging of these two foundations. Dito muna tayo kay Squad Cosmetics. Ganito yung itsura ng kanyang packaging. Pinakalagay siya sa isang clear or transparent na plastic bottle or container and it comes with a plastic cap. Tapos yung kanyang dispenser ay the pump. And also guys, itong container niya or yung kanyang packaging, it comes in an airless pump. Tapos guys, naka-imprint din dito in a holographic na font yung Squad You Can Face It Foundation. So guys, nung nabili ko ito, may kasama siyang plastic. So naka-wrap around to ng parang clear plastic and doon nakalagay yung kanyang ingredients. I am not sure about the creams. So once na natanggal nyo na yun at naitapon nyo, hindi nyo na makikita yung ingredients. So, yun yung pinaka-downside niya sa akin. Next naman, itong si Everbilena All Day Liquid Foundation. Black matte yung kulay niya, guys. And kung makikita nyo, nandyan yung logo nila na EB Everbilena All Day Liquid Foundation. And meron dito ang maliit na naka-imprint na pangalan ay Silk, which is yung shade name nitong mismong foundation na meron ako. And then dito naman sa likod, nandyan yung kanyang claims and benefits, ingredients, barcodes, and so on. Nati-twist yung cap niya and squeezy tube siya. So now let's talk about naman yung kanilang price and kung gaano karami yung laman ng mga products na to. So dito kay Squad Cosmetics, this is 180 pesos and 11 grams or 11 ml yung dami niya. While ito naman si Everbilena, this one is 220 pesos and yung nilalaman naman niya is 35 grams or 35 ml. So, hindi naman masyado guys nagkakalayo, 30 pesos yung kanilang price difference. But before guys, ako ha, sa pagkakaalam ko, parang less than 200 pesos lang to si EV or Everbilena na All Day Liquid Foundation. Comment kayo sa baba guys kung mali ba ako or tama ba ako, nag-price increase ba si Everbilena or ganun talaga yung price niya. Napansin ko lang na onti lang pala yung laman talaga nito ni Squad Cosmetics. Three times yung laman naman nito ni Everbilena kasi 35 grams to. So if we're going to do the math, etong si Squad You Can Face It, it is 180 pesos. So per ml or per gram, it's 16 pesos and 36 cents. While eto namang si Everbilena, it's 220 pesos. So, yung per ml niya or per grams is 6 pesos and 28 cents. Kung iisipin nyo guys, mukhang mas makakamura kayo dito kay Everbilena kaysa dito. Kasi mas madaming laman to. So, possible na mas makakatipid kayo. nag ako guys ng demo review for this video. Pero, later ko na siya ipapakita sa inyo. So, kung muna sa inyo, um, ipakita yung swatches nito side by side. By the way, for the Squad Cosmetics, meron silang 4 shades. And itong si Everbilena, meron silang 4 shades as well. Yung shade pala na nakuha ko kay Squad Cosmetics ay Warm Light. And dito naman kay Everbilena ay Silk. Claims and benefits ng mga products na to. Pisahan ko na dito kay Squad Cosmetics. Kanina dun sa packaging na sabi ko sa inyo na wala dito sa kanyang mismong container or sa packaging yung about sa kanyang claims and benefits and ingredients. So dito na lang ako pumunta sa mismong specifications niya sa Lazada. It says here yung face makeup benefits nito. It has natural, lightweight, long wearing, and oil control. Tapos may nakalagay ding hydrating. Tapos yung product form niya is liquid. Yung skin type type daw, pwede sa combination. Yung face makeup coverage niya is full and yun lang. Yun lang yung nakalagay dito, guys. 
it comes naman dito kay Everbilena, it says here dito sa likod ng kanyang packaging, get skin that looks flawless at every angle with EV All Day Liquid Foundation. This is a buildable formula and it helps even out skin tone and conceals blemishes while providing hydration without the greasy feel. Magdi-dispense lang ako guys ng product para at least ma-swatch ko siya sa inyo at ma-feel din natin at makita nyo later kung ano yung itsura ng mga products dito kapag na-swatch ko sila. So this is Squad and this is naman Everbilena. So I am going to swatch it for you guys. Ayan. Malapitan. Again, warm light and silk. Kung makikita nyo guys, itong kulay nitong warm light, it is more of a yellow undertone. Pero meron siyang hint ng parang pagka-orange yung kulay niya. Mas lalo na sa personal guys, pag nakita nyo, para siyang light orange. Ganun. And then, ito namang si Everbilena. This is like a neutral undertone na shade. For the scent of these two products, napansin ko lang na meron silang minimal scent. As in, yung kapag inamoy nyo sila, maaamoy nyo talaga na meron siyang scent. Pero kapag inapply nyo na sa inyong face, nag-fade naman siya right away after yung i-blend. Itong si Silk, medyo nag-oxidize siya dito sa aking kamay. And itong si Warm Light, medyo ganun pa rin yung kulay niya. So, iba pa rin guys yung reaction dito mismo sa aking skin sa face as compared as dito sa aking kamay. Now, let's talk about with the consistency of these two products. etong si Squad Cosmetics, definitely this is a thick consistency ng isang foundation. Guys, kapag nag pump kayo dito sa likod ng kamay nyo. Kahit i-ganong-ganon nyo, hindi siya masyado gagalaw. As compared as dito naman kay Everbilena, eto guys yung masasabi ko or compare ko sa mga usual na foundation na meron tayo. This is more of a creamy yung type ng consistency niya. So, hindi siya too runny or yung liquidy or watery at hindi din naman siya thick. When it comes naman sa kanilang coverage, parehas sila na merong medium high to full coverage. Siguro depende na lang kung ilang layer yung i-apply nyo. Masasabi ko itong si Squad Cosmetics, full coverage na full coverage talaga siya. Isa to sa mga foundation na try ko na talagang kaya niyang mag-serve as a full coverage na concealer. As in, lahat ng gusto mong takpan sa mukha mo, matatakpan talaga niya. Ito namang si Ever Bilena. This is medium high to full coverage din. Depende lang din kung gano'ng kadami yung i-apply nyo na layer. Kung pag-uusapan naman natin yung per layer nila, yung coverage nitong si Squad Cosmetics for the first layer, masasabi ko ay full coverage talaga agad. As compared as itong si All Day Liquid Foundation ni Everbilena, this is more of a medium high coverage. Kapag nagdalawang layers na kayo dito kay Squad Cosmetics, Full-full coverage na talaga siya. I can say these two are medium-high to full coverage foundations. Finish naman nila guys. Itong si squad you can face it. This is a matte finish. As in, matte talaga siya, guys. Kapag ito yung inapply nyo sa face at wala pa kayo nilalagay, like hindi pa kayo nagpa-powder, hindi pa kayo nag-eyeshadow, nagkikilay, makikita nyo talaga na flat matte yung itsura ng inyong base makeup. Actually, kahit hindi na nga kayo mag-set ng inyong entire face with a loose setting powder kasi para na siyang merong powdery finish, Pero yung finish pala nito guys, bukod sa pagiging matte, kapag hinawakan nyo, para siyang velvet. When it comes naman itong si Everbilena, this is more of a natural finish na foundation. Hindi siya yung matte, hindi din siya dewy. Now guys, ipapakita ko na sa inyo yung aking demo review, yung swatches nila mismo dun sa aking mukha, and also kung paano ko sila binlend. Dito sa right side of my face, ang ginamit ko ay si Squad Cosmetics, and dito naman sa left side ay si Everbilena.
guys, nakita nyo na sa demo review yung application and blendability process nitong dalawang foundation na to sa aking face. So again, dito sa right side ay si Squad, dito sa left ay si Everbilena. So guys, if you're wondering bakit damp sponge yung ginamit ko, kanina kasi nabanggit ko sa inyo na tried and tested ko na tong mga products na to. So alam ko na rin, nakapag-experiment na rin ako kung ano talaga yung best tool para sa akin na nag-work. So eto guys, nagamit ko na pala with my skin type na dry and also nagamit ko na siya with my combination skin type. Ako guys, mas gusto ko talaga yung damp sponge kasi mas seamless talaga siya. And also, since these are full coverage, mas gusto kong nakokontrol ko talaga yung dami ng product na naia-apply ko. The products are both full coverage na foundation. And yung isa thick yung consistency, yung isa naman ay creamy. So, kanina nakita nyo sa demo review na talagang nahirapan ako dito kay Squad Cosmetics. Nadadrag niya yung skin ko kasi meron siyang tugging effect. So, ako talaga guys, ever since nagamit ko to, using my fingertips, using brush, using a damp sponge, talagang medyo nahihirapan akong i-blend itong si Squad You Can Face It Foundation. Pero dito kay Everbilena na All Day Liquid Foundation, since this is a creamy type of um, consistency, yung formula niya, parang ganun. Um, kapag biniblend ko siya, pala lang siyang yung mga typical foundations na meron ako as comparable kay Ibeline, Fit Me, and also kay L'Oreal, yung Fresh Wear. So, thumbs up ako kasi as in, mabilis lang talaga siyang i-blend. Unlike ito talagang si Squad, it takes time for me to blend it out. After you blend itong mga foundation na to, ang pinakamabilis mag-set sa kanila ay itong si Squad Cosmetics. etong si Ever Bilena, it takes a little bit of more time before talaga siya mag-set sa inyong face completely. So, I think siguro mga less than a couple of minutes, mafe-feel nyo na na hindi na siya ganun kataki. By the way, when it comes sa kanilang takiness, definitely itong si Everbilena, mas taki siya. Kasi nga, sabi ko sa inyo, it takes time to completely dry. While ito namang si Squad Cosmetics, parang siguro wala pang 30 seconds, guys. Hindi na siya taki. Now, let's talk about with the performance of these two products. So, before guys, nung winter season, ginagamit ko tong dalawang to, and tried and tested ko na sila with my dry skin, and then also, last weeks, before kong i-film ito, talagang miniature ko na gamitin sila uli para ma-review ko sa inyo dahil nag-transition na yung aking skin type into combination skin. So, yung T-zone area ko ay nag-oil up na and etong part na to ay dry pa rin. So, at least alam ko talaga yung thoughts ko na gusto kong i-share sa inyo. So, with these Squad Cosmetics, I can say with dry and combination skin, okay na okay siya sa akin. I have heard some people na may dry skin, hindi to nag-work kasi na-emphasize daw yung kanilang mga dry patches and parang it looks cakey on their skin. Ako kasi guys, kapag ito yung gagamitin ko, I make sure na yung moisturizer na ginagamit ko ay very emollient talaga. Para at least well hydrated talaga yung aking face before ko siyang gamitin. So ako guys, ginamit ko to, I think yung pinakamatagal ay 10 hours. Okay na okay siya sa aking skin. Sa T-zone area ko lang nakikita na may nagbi-build up ng oils. Pero okay siya. Maganda siya. I know it's flat matte. I know, sabi ko kanina, nahirapan ako sa pag-blend sa kanya. Pero yung longevity niya, andun. As in, with or without setting my entire face with a loose setting powder, okay na okay siya. Siguro kung may oily skin kayo, magugustuhan niyo to kasi matte talaga yung finish niya performance nito guys, having dry skin and combination skin now, if I'm going to rate this, I can say na 9 out of 10 to. So, dry skin ako, hindi naman yan accentuate yung mga dry patches ko. Kahit nung nakaraan na meron ako dito yung dry patches, hindi naman guys, tinanong ko si Mark, sabi niya it looks flawless daw talaga. So, kapag nag second layer ako, hindi pa siya mukhang cakey sa aking face. Kahit matagal ko na siyang suot, hindi siya yung nagmumukhang cakey o kaya naman yung parang nagbibitak-bitak yung makeup. Naman guys, itong si Everbilena All Day liquid foundation. Itong ginamit ko itong summer na last week. I can say na yung longevity niya, it's around 5 to 6 hours kasi sa T-zone area ko nakikita ko na nagbi-build up na yung oils. Pero guys, hindi ko din naman siya napansin na nakiklean siya sa aking dry patches. And also, hindi din siya mukhang cakey sa aking skin. So definitely, okay na okay din yung performance nito sa aking skin. Now for my recommendations, alam niyo naman, honest to goodness talaga yung aking 
opinion regarding with the products and also tried and tested ko na talaga sila. Itong mga products na kasi ito guys, gusto ko talaga sila. So, i-recommend ko sa inyo itong dalawang ito. Then, nagre-rely yung aking skin type and also sa mga ginagamit kong skin care. So, ako guys, masasabi ko na they work both really good sa aking skin. Given that these are affordable foundations, this is 180 pesos, this is 220 pesos. Okay na okay sila sa akin with my dry skin and also with my combination skin now. I'm going to recommend something like, for example, if you have dry skin and you want a natural finish na merong coverage, you can go for this, itong si Everbilena na All Day Liquid Foundation. But oily skin naman, actually both of this I think will work well for you. Pero ang pinaka the best ay itong si Squad Cosmetics kasi talagang matte yung kanyang finish. Ako nga may dry skin, hindi ko na talaga kailangan mag powder with this foundation. But I think if you're going to set this with a powder tas may oily skin kayo, I think it will work well sa inyo. That's it for this video guys. Sana natuwa kayo sa video na ito and sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. If you do like this video, of course, you can click the thumbs up button. And if you want to get notified in my future uploads in this channel, you can click the subscribe or the bell button down below. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next videos. Bye!